Welcome to the magic of math. Today, we're going to continue our slope challenge on day number five, our last day of the slope challenge. Here's our challenge. You're asked to find the slope of the line passing through the points zero, negative six, and four, three. So today, I'm not gonna give you the slope formula. I'm gonna hope that you can remember it after the previous four days. So go ahead, pause the video here, find the slope of the line, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So here's our slope formula. Slope m is equal to the change in y over the change in x, reminding you that y2 is the y coordinate of point two. y1 is the y coordinate of point one. Same applies for the x's. These points could be, this could be point one or point two. It doesn't matter which is which. So let's begin by writing our ordered pair, zero, negative six, and four, three. Identifying that our numerator of our ratio is going to be the y coordinates, negative 6 and 3, and the denominator is going to be our x coordinates of 0 and 4. Here's the trick I've shown you. Let's turn our papers or our heads and imagine it written just as a slope ratio. So y2 in this case is going to be negative 6, y1 is going to be positive 3, x2 is going to be 0, and x1 is going to be 4. Now we're going to rewrite this and we are going to add the opposite. So negative six, add negative three, zero, add negative four, and now we can add. Negative six and negative three, same sign, keep the sign and add, negative nine, zero and negative four, any value added to zero is itself, so negative four. Now we have negative nine over negative four, or think of that fraction bar as your division. Negative nine divided by four. So a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive, and nine fourths is our slope because that is in simplest form. Thanks for joining me for our five day slope challenge at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.